On Tuesday last week I had planned to and it was just a crazy week and I didn't get anything filmed but I'm here this week with a haul. I went to the bookstore because uh, there was a new Avatar no novel that came out and I wanted it and um, they didn't have it so they had a lot of other things I wanted though. Starting with the next two volumes of Fruits Basket. I bought volumes one through six from the bookstore and they didn't have the second half of the series and I keep coming back waiting for them to get the rest of them in and they just haven't been, but they did get seven and eight. So I'm just a little bit closer. I also got uh, the Gardens of the Moon, which I already owned, but my office flooded and the my copy of Gardens of the Moon died, so I needed to replace this. However, this doesn't have my annotations in it, which is very rude, but I still have the one that died, so I'll try to move over some of my annotations. I also got Censor by Junji Ito. I have read two uh, of his collections so far. I've read Uzumaki and Tomie, and I have loved them, and it's coming up on spooky season, so I'm definitely gonna keep reading him. He's a, he's a horror mangaka. A woman walks alone at the foot of Mount Sengo Sengoku. A man appears, saying he's been waiting for her and invites her to a nearby village. Surprisingly, the village is covered in hair-like volcanic glass fibers, all shining bright gold. That night, as the villagers gaze up at the starry sky, countless unidentified flying objects come raining down on them and opening the opening act for the terror about to occur. I really love his horror. It's horrifying and it's enjoyable. I've actually already bought this once before, but there was a door-to-door -door salesman came to our door and he said that he was a fan of Junji Ito, but he uh, didn't own this one. So I just gave him my copy. And now I've, now I've bought myself another one. I bought Nettle and Bone, which uh, Riley Marie, I was watching one of her videos recently and she is a massive tea king, kingfisher. She's a massive tea kingfisher fan and I think has read every one of their books and this was one of her favorites. Um, and this is a different kind of fantasy than I typically read, but it, she just talks this author up so much that I, I had to check it out. Mara never wanted to be a hero. As the shy, convent-raised, third-born daughter, she escaped the ritual fate of princess to be married away for the sake of an uncaring throne. But her sis sister wasn't so fortunate, and after years of silence, Mara is done watching her suffer at the hands of a powerful and abusive prince. So she has to, uh, in order to get help, she has to accomplish three tasks, build a dog of bones, sew a cloak of nettles, and capture moonlight in a jar. I don't really know what to expect from this, but I plan to read it very soon, and I'm excited to see if this is also an author that I can super enjoy. You made a fool out of death with your beauty. So this is, I think, like literary and romance. Uh, I was looking into it several months ago and have been wanting to buy it for a while. Um, so I, I know that this is going to explore grief, and I'm pretty sure it's also going to have romance in it. And I also know that it takes place in a tropical place and I think is gonna be really focused on setting as well. I am, I love nautical stories. I love tropical stories. I love that kind of stuff. I love uh, literary stories, things that are gonna dig really deep into that kind of stuff. And I'm still trying to figure out what kind of romance reader I am. I just remember when I looked into this, I was thinking, this is it. This is the perfect book for me. This is what I want. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. And finally, the last thing that I got is, oh, volumes. Uh, I think I only bought three, four, and five of Vinland Saga because I already owned one and two. Anyway, this is gonna be my next manga after Hunter Hunter, which by the time you watch this, I will have already 
been caught up on. I'm currently reading Fruits Basket, but I usually like to read one more intense manga and then one more um, slice of life, which technically Fruits Basket is, but it's also pretty emotionally intense. I like to bounce back and forth between the two things. So anyway, Vinland Saga is going to be my next um, series after Hunter Hunter. So I'm set to begin. <laughs> I got a couple more books that I can add to this roster of things that I got. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which I have already started reading. Not very far into it, but it'll be in this week's vlog. Beach Read, which I don't think I've told you about that I bought this, but more Emily Henry romance books, always a good time. And The Girl Who Drank the Moon, which is a Patreon buddy read pick for next month, I think. So it'll be read very soon. Also, I pre-ordered the next Amari book, but that's not going to come in until the end of August. So more books. I plan to read all of these really soon, except for Gardens of the Moon, which I've already read. But I'm already currently reading Fruits Basket. This is going to be a spooky October read. And both of these I'm very, very excited for. So that's the plan. I guess that also gives you kind of a peek into some of my immediate TBR books. Some of them. But anyway, whenever I do go to the bookstore, I don't often film B-roll and I don't often come away with such a large stack. So even though I don't do book hauls very often today, I thought it was a good day to do one. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you have any opinions or if you are there, if there are any that you think that I should push higher on my TBR, like read immediately. And let me know what the most recent book that you bought is. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday here and Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the other channel, which will be linked in the description of this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.